and given Russia's history of um, assassinating dissidents, um, giving sanctuary to terror, U.S. designated terrorist organizations, would the U.S. consider labeling Russia a state sponsor of terrorism? I don't have any assessment of that at this point in time. Uh, obviously, we're continuing to look at the actions on the ground and the actions of leaders. Go ahead. Thank you. Two immigration questions for you. First, I wanted to confirm whether the administration supports an Afghan Adjustment Act. That's potential legislation that would secure permanent status for those thousands of evacuees that are here. It would go beyond, obviously, the TPS designation last week, which is 18 months. Sure. I'd have to check with our Department of Homeland Security. Obviously, we just announced temporary protected status last week, and we're continuing to assess and consider a range of ways to, um, to uh, welcome and uh, our, our Afghan partners. And just quickly, it's been two years since President Trump implemented Title 42. There are protests outside the White House today. Democrats are now actively calling for it to end. COVID cases are low. Is the administration at least preparing for the possibility that this could end, and how so? Sure. There are timelines, including, I think, upcoming in April, on when it's continues to be reconsidered. And those discussions happen among the health experts from the CDC uh, and other uh, other medical experts within the administration. And you always have to prepare because if they'd make that decision, there would be an implementation that uh, would be in part led by the Department of Homeland Security and others uh, that you have to plan for. Does that include in preparing for a large influx of migrants at the border specifically? Well, uh, certainly that would be part of it um, if, uh, if uh, if if and when um, the uh, CDC makes that determination. Yeah, okay, thanks, Jake. everyone. Uh, we'll have Jake here tomorrow. Lots of questions I'm sure you have. Thank you, everyone.